Well, so basically we're saying St. George to lose, Pembroke to lose, Amber to lose, <laughs> and we need a win. So basically we need someone to lose, 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 and someone to lose. So guys, thank you for doing it, and today... No, it's not. And welcome to episode number no, two. Not. I'm waiting for it. Here it is. I'm waiting for it. Here it is. I'm waiting for it. You know what it is. I'm waiting for it. Today on BKR Sport, that's right, mate. You know what we're doing. You know what we're doing. We're here for episode number two, big boy. This is it. This is it. I don't know. It's all I know. Hey, guys, I'm going to say today on BKR Sport, we are going to be watching a little bit of a Broncos versus. How mad is it, home? <laughs> every are you week. Sure? Every week. Oh, yeah, otherwise we'll be out again. Every week. Otherwise we'll be out. Every week. I make that mistake. I oh, always no. say the away team first. Before the home team. Today's video, we're going to be watching the Parramatta Eels versus Brisbane Broncos game. This should be quite a good game. Then again, last week when we did the Geelong Cats versus the Broncos game, game, we thought that was going to be a big game and a good game too. Till it didn't end up being a big game and a good game too. We were sitting here, we didn't know what to do. We, just, we, we tried to have as much fun as we could, but it wasn't really that much fun. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, we did have fun. We had fun. We always have fun. We always have fun. Anyway, Parramatta Broncos. <laughs> Parramatta at home, they are coming in seventh position. But Gutherson, done his ACL, he's been their best player this year. So, Parramatta are going up against a really good team in Broncos, mm. and they've just lost their best player. What do you yeah. reckon? What, what do you reckon? Obviously, Broncos are coming in third. They're very high at the table. Well, you can't deny that the Broncos are on a good side. As much as I'm not a huge fan of the Broncos, personally, <laughs> but you know, you can't deny they're a good team. They're playing some good football, and uh, no matter who they seem to go up against, they seem to be able to put on, always put on a good performance. Well, actually, a lot of people think that the Broncos will make the grand final this year. It's very, very difficult, obviously, to say that they're not going to make it because they're third place at the moment, which is a little bit of a shock, if I'm completely honest with you. I never would have thought the Broncos would have been in third position at this time of the year. I think they're a great team, but third position. Why is our TV just going off, son? <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> just... What? what is going on? Where's the remote? It's there. This place is haunted, son. What? The remote is there. The remote is right. I genuinely don't know. So as we're talking just now, as the TV went off, Obviously it was on mute because you didn't hear the TV in the background and now it just turned off, turned back on, and, and the remote's here. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, like what I was saying, what do you expect the Broncos to be in this position? No, I, like, when you look at the beginning of the season, they had a good squad, but you wouldn't expect them to be on third. I mean, like even mid-pack would still make it, like, what, six? I was tipping about six. I was tipping yeah. about six. And the difference between six and third is a big difference. Okay. Fifth. 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 Put it up, put it up. They put it up. He's why does this tip keep doing this? What's what's going on? Why is the TV just turned off again? Why is the TV just turned off? Let's face this down here. What's going on? <laughs> oh, good girl. oh my gosh. Oh, James Robertson is oh. away. When James Robertson is away, no, he's, he's not. the fastest player in the game. That's forward. That's too easy. That's that was way forward. Oh my god. That was oh my god, god. This how did they miss that? What are they how doing? They... Oh my what? god! Oh my god, he's still in school. Oh, oh my, my god! Oh my god! What just what happened? Just happened? What, just... what? How was that a try? <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, he's not going to check it. No, he's not going to check it because it was a try, but, but what just. I don't what? get what just happened. Harry <laughs> had like 50 chances to stop him. Harry's boys had a lot to get to James Roberts. Well, James Roberts is, is in open space. As much as I hate James Roberts, I think that whenever he's in space, Why that's just the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. And then they still score without getting a tackle. And then they can't tackle it. Right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, wow. James oh, Roberts. James what? Roberts. How have they just, they've just gone bang, 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 bang. How about that pass? That was a great pass. pass. From Matt Gillette too. I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, they're loving it. Let's give that, uh... Pepsi Max. Oh, we're going to love some Pepsi Max. We're going to love some Pepsi Look at the Pepsi. meters game, 389 to 93. Oh my gosh. We've just seen meters game. <laughs> 389 meters gained in nine minutes to the Broncos. Parramatta are on 93. Oh, jeez. <laughs> sure. Throwing this out there. We're What's currently going? talking about this right now. So you guys have seen the TV go off twice when the remote is down here, not touching anything, 
And now, the camera that we're filming on literally just turned off. This camera up here has a big lens. So Zan like noticed and said that just turned off. And I went and checked, it's got like 100% battery still. So, half time here and the Broncos lead 14-12 in what has actually been a bloody good game so far. Awesome. It's been, a, it's been a really good game. Who do you think has been on top? I know Broncos are obviously up 14-12. I think it's pretty, well, I think the I think Para have been on top more than the Broncos. Yeah. Because the Broncos, I reckon, dominated the first... 10, 12 minutes, and then power has just gone. That was a training yeah. went for the Broncos in the first 12 minutes. They and just then they, after they that, scored two easy tries. Being, only being down by two, and that came from that late penalty, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, I, I, I think Parramatta win. Obviously, would be surprised if the Broncos winning because they are a phenomenal bloody team. Yeah. But I just think, I don't know, Parramatta's got the edge tonight so far. I'm pretty keen for this next half. I'm actually really excited. I'm yeah, really excited. I'm, 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 I'm really excited for this next half. It's a tough penalty. That's it comes cool. in like that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a tough penalty, you know what I mean? Like, just slap him in the face these days. You, you know, talking to the Islanders, though, obviously, yeah, Sonny Red Raja, Sugasti for Navalu, and we're back to the Jared A. He technically is a PG. Is he actually? Yes. He's. <laughs> Finally, speaking of that, Jared Hayne actually came out and said, this is not what I was actually speaking about. But Jared Hayne came out and said, if he doesn't get selected for Australia in the World Cup this year, he's going to play for full Fair No, but like, how is that, what, how is that acceptable? The country is playing in a football match. Do you want players who are there just because they didn't get selected for another country? I wish you had Jared on the show, which does. <laughs> what, do what do you actually think? Like, he's basically said to Fiji, I don't want to be playing for your team. As always, oh, not that on. I don't want to be playing for your team. But if I have to play for your team, I'll play for your team. I, I, I understand that. It could be because Australia might be like he might be more Australian than Fiji potentially. But like, like but he's already played the World Cup with Fiji. With Fiji, 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 Fiji. But like, what I'm saying is like he can play with Australia. Well, yes. he can play with Australia. He can well, see, he could be both. It could just be like. Put it down, look, Fiji out, look, Australia is like, if I don't get selected for that, like, look, I'll come play for you guys in Fiji, it's fine. It's more like saying, like, giving them the choice, because look, Jared Hayne, elite, elite athlete, that phenomenal player. Oh, I'm saying, I think he's a phenomenal player, and for Fiji to have someone of his calibre in that team, that was just, made the team even better. But like, I just don't agree with that, that he's saying. No, Sam, look, I, I think choose a team, that's it. If you don't get selected, I'm sorry. You can't just say, oh, I can pick for these guys, but I'll come with you guys, my second choice. Well, I think if Fiji, if he doesn't get selected for Australia, and Fiji wanted him, oh, and, Fiji wanted him, and, and he said, and he said, but like, Fiji will want yeah, him. yeah. What, what, what I'm saying is, if Fiji is like, personally, I look, I can't like Australia. I'm more Australian than Fiji. And for example, for example, I don't know if this is true, but if he's more Australian than Fiji, and if I look, look, Fiji, if I don't get selected in the Australian squad, I'll come play for you guys because that like, that might have approached him. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Islanders. Why don't teams go to the islands? as much as they should, like for example Fijians, the two best wingers in the game, Suliasu Munavalu from the Melbourne Storm, Fijian, Semi Red Raja, Hamada, Fijian, um, Corabetti before he went to the, before he went to Rugby Union, Fijian, all the wingers in the game, the best wingers in the game, are all Fijian. Why do teams not go, go, or go over there and scout enough? I don't know, you look at it, we don't have that many... Kiliwata. Okay, I'm sorry to them I'm talking. <laughs> just, I'm just thinking of other names. But, but what I'm saying is like, when you look at it, we don't have that many. If you went, if you count the islands as international, right? Yeah. That aren't originally already in Australia. Yeah. Going out and actually finding players, like, you look at it, how many, how many players do you actually have where we've gone out and got Either in Australia and we take them and see the talent, just rising up to the leagues, you know, like the, the interested cup. Well, PNG's trying to get football. Well, they've already got a Queensland Rugby League team. Yeah. Fiji's getting two Rugby League games next right. year. So, when do you think? Say, say it's 14, yeah. alright. Yeah. When do you think it's time to go for the extra? When do you think it's time to go that one? I don't like going for a field goal. Until, some people disagree with me, but I don't like going for a field goal until 70th minute minimum. But you do get the ball back. You get the ball Which back. Is, uh, geez, why are you saying so? But the same sense, field goals aren't easy to kick. You miss it, you give them a seven tackle set. Yeah, that's fair. And there's still 15 minutes to go. Oh my, oh, oh my god, god. you're for real right now. Are you for real? Oh, you, oh my god, I can't even deal. Are you serious right now? Off the They're scrum. Off the scrum, they pass the ball out. Are you, are you kidding me? Pass the ball oh my god, me. he passed it over. Convert. The try of French. The game. What a game. 
What a game. What a game. Anyway, guys, that's it for this week's episode. No. no. Anyway, guys, that is it for today's episode. If you did like it, please give it a big thumbs up. It's this week's, but it's this week's episode. Not today. It's not like we're doing another one like, like tomorrow. It's this Why week's. are you talking? It's only, one, it's only one episode a week. If you did like it, please give it a big thumbs up so we know you're enjoying this content. Three weeks. This actually ended up being a decent game. Oh, I know it does say 14 points now. Paramount won 28-14, but I did. That was uh, until the last 10 minutes. No one really knew. It was, it was yeah, no one. It was neck and neck. It was a great game. Very physical. Very, very physical. That win today takes Paramount up to sixth position on the table, which is pretty.